What's up guys, Aaron's here with a follow on update, one year with the IHWCUs, the summer OCPs. I've worn them pretty much every day for the last year, except for, for one day where we did the gas chamber. I, I put on the traditional OCPs. I thought I was gonna die of heat stroke. It was so hot. Um, so kind of get a little follow up, talk about it real quick. How they've lasted. Are they still hard to find? Um, are they worth it? Um, pretty much tells you if I've been wearing them for a year, they're pretty probably worth it, right? Uh, but yeah, so let's get into it. Also have a jungle uniform here that's actually off camera. Um, but yeah, we'll get into that, kind of show that because somebody commented, these aren't actual jungles. They're same material, the 57 to 43%, 57% uh, nylon, 43% cotton. Uh, but yeah, so whatever. Uh, we'll get into that, show how they lasted compared to the regular OCPs. Hey, be sure to hit that like and subscribe. We're at 600 subscribers. We're almost there to 1,000. Uh, big things happen at 1,000. Cool. So be sure to like, subscribe. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, so let's talk about some of the negatives, actually, with the summer OCPs. Um, again, these are my field uniforms. Sergeant has the exact same problem that I know that I work with. And you can see this clear as day. You see the dark, or excuse me, the faded light. It just gets really dark here on these reinforced sections. Uh, they're definitely like a thicker uh, material, uh, like a little extra layers and stuff like that. You can almost see the squares on this one. And then you can't really kind of see the squares, uh, but you can see the coloration. It, it sticks out. It, it, I've seen it across Fort Benning, and I get the reinforced section on the top here. Uh, you can actually see, again, the elbows and stuff like that where it's reinforced. It just looks a little weird. Um, like, I get it why they did it, but it's almost like they should have did that for the whole uniform, which probably obviously for cost, uh, to keep costs down, but again, and to make it more breathable and stuff like that. But again, this is one year worn you know, pretty much every day, uh, unless I'm in the office, I, I like to wear these. Um, so these are actually kind of faded too. So I mean, kind of on and off depending. These are my field uniforms. So definitely faded. It's a big problem I've seen across from other sergeants. Uh, let's do a little other comparison here to, to my actual OCPs that I took to Ranger School, went through iBullock that I've been wearing for a few years now. Again, same ones that I bought, you know, since they dropped at Fort Knox that I was able to secure. And let's take a comparison of how they, those look. All right, and check it out, the awesome camera work here. Uh, we got the regular OCPs on the outside, summer's in the middle here. So these are the pants together here. Now these are the ones you see I, I've wore like, you know, in the field at Ibolic, and then like, you know, which is again, 14 weeks in the field through Ranger School, uh, you know, uh, 60 days, a lot, you know, those five uh, days at a time, soaking wet, everything like that. So again, you kind of see how they hold up. Now again, there's that dark spot, but let's compare the actual light spots. It's definitely like lighter. You see, it's like way more faded. Now, to give a true comparison, we're also gonna I'm gonna throw a new of uh, summer OC summer OCP pants so you can see the differences there too. Um, so let's do that. But again, the tops. So durability wise, I'm a little worried because uh, again, you see how much they're faded already. Uh, multi cam, you know, faded drastically. OCPs also do fade. Uh, the regular ACUs, uh, not the IHWCUs, but you can just see the differences there. Um, so there's that little video. Let me go get a new pair. I have one new pair of summer OCPs, uh, the bottom, so you can see that, and then we'll compare those also. All right, so I have a brand new and the newest top that I have that I barely worn uh, on each side. Again, I have like four sets, um, mainly because again, this is my everyday choice uniform, so much more comfortable. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can see the difference in the colors. You see the tags are still on here. Again, brand new medium regs. Um, but you can see the difference in colors right there. And again, I'm gonna show you my office pair. You know, maybe I've worn them a couple times out in the field, not in, like direct, directly in the sun or anything like that. Um, but it's coming across really well of like, just like they fade really quick. And then we'll kind of show you the tops. So again, faded, kind of new. The difference is there. And just for fun, I got an OCP top here. As you can see is very vibrant in color of how well they hold their color. This is a brand new one, uh, but again, brand pretty much brand new. So it looks good But those OCPs, just to kind of show the difference in colors, uh, how long they last after pretty much about a year on and off. Again, the uniform I'm wearing right now is kind of in my office uniform. And then I'll kind of show what those knees also look like. You can cut, start seeing that even they start fading, even when not in the sun and maybe just going to the motor pool for a little bit and everything like that. All right, so again, you can kind of see the light and then where it gets clearly darker uh, on the knees there. Um, 
it's just some kind of design, you know, just to where they wanted the knees to be reinforced. Because like apparently people were blowing out knees when the old multi cans always blew up my crotch. Um, OCPs never really had that problem, but I guess it's part of a sacrifice using a lighter material. You know, it's it's gonna wear down quicker. Is is probably what it's looking like. Uh, but again, this is one year everyday act duty, you know, use. Um, so maybe some people's office jobs and stuff like that. Uh, but they're way more comfortable. And then let's do the last little video. Let's show off the, those jungle tops and show you that one. Uh, finally, I was able to secure one of the jungles. Uh, the real jungles is the one person that commented and stuff. Which again, you see, these are the official issue. These aren't like the the different brands that tier one and all that stuff sells. You know, it's official. Uh, but it just has that pocket that's different. Um, which pretty much, if you're gonna have your deployment patches and your flag and a ranger tab, it looks really condensed. Um, now the pants are different. They do have a mosquito liner for the jungle uniforms. Haven't been able to secure one of those. What I find interesting is they do actually issue these out uh, to basic trainees as long as they have them in stock, um, which last I knew they did. I see trainees running around, you know, Fort Benning here in them. Uh, I know mine were issued two and then two regular OCPs. And again, they they prefer this. But what's interesting is they were issued jungles. Uh, maybe there was some back stock or something. Some of the ones I was working with. Um, so they all had jungles and the jungle liners, and I was a little surprised. So again, the IHWCU pants that are issued that that you can buy right now, um, if you can find them, that's another thing. Um, that they do not have the mosquito liner, but the tops are pretty much identical except for the pocket um, where you can't put your flag up here or your tab. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, the other big thing is they're impossible to find. They've been sold out here on Fort Benning ever since they started opening up other posts. I think we just have like extra short. Um, obviously, I secured a medium regular you saw here from like three or four months ago. That was like the last little hurrah they had. Uh, they were saying in October, I think, new fiscal years when they're expecting more. Uh, so if you're, hey, let me know what your uniforms look like. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Again, subscribers just count. Please hit that, support the content. If you like it, you got any comments, let me know how your uniforms are holding up. If you prefer the IHWCUs, OCPs, and uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks, guys.